Hey guys, it's Woody here over at USA Made Blade and coming to you today to talk to you about the Hinder Half Track. Zoom in on that a little bit. And we've already done an overview on this knife. You can find it on our YouTube channel. So this isn't really going to be an overview. I'll give you the quick specs on it. Um, it's S35 steel, four and a half ounces. Uh, blade length, most places says about 2.7 inches, but cutting edge, you're going to be about 2.5. I want to say it's about six inches overall. So there are your quick specs on it. Um, but what I'm going to talk to you today about is why, and a lot of people have asked me, why I love the Hender Half Track. And it's taken me a while to wrap my head around it, to be honest with you. And to give you an answer to that, I'm going to give you just a quick history of, of me and the knife business. So, and it's going to be quick. But about 15 years or so ago, and I'm guessing, but I was newly married. My wife and I were shopping. And we were at a mall, and they had the what was pretty new at the time, the Kershaw Scallion frame lock. And I fell in love with that knife. And that jumped me back into knives quick. Next thing you knew, I was jumping on knife forums. I was looking for overbuilt, smaller folders. Well, if you know, if you've ever searched for them, finding ones that are made in the USA, that are really well built, it's pretty difficult. So after this, I ended up buying a Chris Reeves small Sabenza. So I jumped in pretty quick. And I love my small Sabenza. I carried it for many, many years. And actually quit carrying it probably about a year before I started USA Made Blade. Well, with my search, I ended up finding when they came out, I was one of the first to get the DPX Heat. Love this little knife. Definitely overbuilt. Definitely a good small folder. And it was getting closer. We were getting closer to my small grail. Uh, sometime in between all of that, and I don't have my original one I bought, but sometime ago, I ended up getting the Spyderco Native 5. Great, overbuilt. Love, actually love the, the lock on this. Um, love the fit, finish, the thickness of it. Good thick blade. Um, great overbuilt small folder. But it still wasn't what I was looking for. And then ZT, I thought, was going to knock it out of the park. And they came as close as anybody's ever come with the ZT 0900. Love it. Overbuilt. Small folder. Great knife. But it still wasn't quite there. So then Chris Reeve comes out with their big announcement, the Chris Reeve Small and Cozy. Definitely overbuilt, a little bit thicker than the small 21, and I like it. It's overbuilt, it's got big, big bearings on it, it's got big, uh, sorry, washers on it. Over, over, it's tank like, it's, it's a good knife. Loved it. Sometime in between, we ended up getting in Hinder three inchers. Uh, this isn't the ones we got in, but right now we've got in three inch slicers, so I'm just showing that off. And like it, I like it a lot, but it was still too thin for my taste. Um, so I was kind of thinking, well, you know, a three incher, maybe a fatty three incher might do the trick, but still wasn't there. And then Hinder comes out with the half track. And the half track is what I started looking for 15 years ago. And Hinder just knocked it out of the park. So what do I love about the half track? Well, it's just about as thick as your standard Hender three and a half inch, which is what I carried most of the time. Flips like a champ. Fits the hand really, really well. The jimping here feels good, but it's not over aggressive. I can get my thumb up here for some good cutting. Let me see if I can get my hand turned around here. Do it this way. Look at that pinky. I've got two XL gloves is what size glove I wear. And for a small knife to still get my pinky on there. And for some reason that handle's shorter than most of the ones I just showed you. It feels good in the hand. I can get a good tight grip on it. Rides great in the pocket. And just the machining, the finish, the fit, everything matches a hinder. Plus it's got a great detent on it. Shoots out like a rocket. If you know me, you know I love flippers. So that is why I love the half track. That is the history. There's 14, 15 years of history waiting for this knife to be made. 
And on my smaller size, everyday carry, which I always carry two knives, but I always like to have a knife about this size, Hender knocked it out of the park. Is this knife for everybody? Absolutely not. It's expensive. It's got a high price point. Hopefully they're going to be coming out with a G10 model in the future. But uh, full tie, they've got them in full tie right now. They've got textured and they've got smooth. Eventually, hopefully G10 will come out, bring the price down. But if it's in your budget and you can afford it and you're looking for that smaller, overbuilt, just badass knife, then check out a half track. We have these in stock. We're hoping to get more of them in stock. So keep out, keep a lookout. And at usamadeblade.com or www.usamadeblade.com. And as always, we appreciate you watching.